Offertory in Edmonton, Alberta, on the first Sunday after the Epiphany, the Feast of the Baptism of Our Lord. We are delighted that we have seven people scheduled to follow Jesus' example and get baptized today. If you are visiting, we're so happy you're here. If you're joining us online, Anthony will be your guide through this service. I invite you now to take a moment in silence to remind yourself that you are in the presence of Almighty God. Our service will begin shortly at the sound of a bell. A voice came from heaven saying, this is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. Is it not clicking forward, Anthony? Okay, great. Please join in singing our opening hymn, The Kingdom of God is Justice and Joy. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Also with you. There is one body and one spirit. There is one hope in God's call to us. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. 
Let us pray. Eternal Father, who at the baptism of Jesus revealed him to be your son, anointing him with the Holy Spirit, keep your children, born of water and the Spirit, faithful to their calling, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated for readings from God's holy word. Welcome back. <laughs> Are you? I'm reading from the book of Genesis. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and earth, the, the earth was formless, void, and darkness covered in the face of the deep, while it went from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness night, and there was evening, and there was morning the first day. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please join me in praying Psalm 29 by reading the verses printed on the screen in bold. Ascribe to the Lord, you gods. Ascribe to the Lord, you are Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The voice of the Lord is a powerful voice. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedar trees. He makes Lebanon skip like a calf. The voice of the Lord splits the flames of fire. The voice of the Lord makes the oak trees writhe. And in the temple of the Lord, all are crying glory. The Lord sits enthroned above the flood. The Lord shall give strength to his people. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Acts. While Apollos was in Corinth, Paul passed through the interior regions and came to Ephesus, where he found some disciples. He said to them, did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? They replied, no, we have not even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. Then he said, into what then were you baptized? They answered, into John's baptism. Paul said, John baptized with the baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who was to come after him, that is, in Jesus. On hearing this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. When Paul had laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. Altogether, there were about 12 of them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I invite you now to rise in body or spirit and join in singing the hymn that announces the gospel, 
flow like a river also called spirit of the living God. The Lord be with you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory to you, Jesus Christ. John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And the people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, the one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the spirit descending like a dove on him. And a voice came from heaven, you are my son, the beloved. With you, I am well pleased. The gospel of Christ. Praise to you. May I speak in the name of God, the one holy and undivided Trinity. Amen. Today, we go back to the beginning. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And each person who is coming today to be baptized. From the beginning... God knew this day would come. God is creator. God creates. God fills the universe with light and life. In the beginning, God said, let there be light, and there was light, the same light that is the light of all people that came into the world in Jesus Christ when God became flesh and lived among us. In Jesus, God continued the act of creation that began so many years before, the creation that continues everywhere where there is light and life, until the end of the ages, when God will again create 
and make all things new. God creates throughout time and history, across the stars and right here in this little parish church. For baptism is a new creation. Paul writes, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. For it is not just that person who is reborn, but the whole creation is made new. Each and every time someone joins the body of Christ, the household of God. Each time someone faithfully follows Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith in being baptized as he was baptized, the new creation has come. We don't need to do anything to earn this. In fact, we cannot do anything to earn this. Creation, even the new creation, is not something we gain by the sweat of our brow. It is a gift from the one who creates, who loved us long before anyone knew of our existence, who declared us to be good, simply because we had been made by him. This is why we baptize little babies, by the way, because baptism is not about the fitness of the person being baptized. It's not about them willing themselves into this like it's a New Year's resolution. Baptism is about all of us remembering what has always been true about us, what has been given to us by God as a free gift without our needing to do anything at all. If you're a Toy Story 2 fan, you can think about the time when Woody, as the Bishop of Minnesota reminded me this morning, he gets kidnapped and he's taken to a toy store. Another toy there recognizes him to his surprise. She asks, don't you know who you are? Or Simba in The Lion King when he's fled his homeland and Mufasa appears in the clouds to remind him who he is. Disney, for all its fault, appears to get it. It is easy to forget who we are in the hustle and bustle of this world. So we need reminders. In baptism, we remember who we are. We remember whose we are. And in that remembering, the whole creation is renewed. Because remembering is more than just calling to mind. It establishes deep grooves and muscle memory the same way I can still go over there and play for Elise on the piano, even though I haven't done it for decades. Today, seven people bring us back to this beginning. Edie, Lachlan, Cedric, Felix, Calvin, Gerhardt Jr. and Gerhardt Sr., have come to be baptized. We are proclaiming to them, just like that toy in the toy store said to Woody, don't you know who you are? But we're also reminding one another who we are. We are renewing our baptismal covenant. Because yeah, I can stumble through for Elise over there on that piano, but I would be a lot better if I remembered, if I practiced, if I kept that muscle memory alive. And we all need to remember who we are and whose we are, not because we earned it, but because God chose to give it to us and to all creation. Because God creates life from the beginning until the end, here on earth and throughout the universe. Every baptism not only reminds us, but it makes new, makes manifest the gift of God here among us, life in the midst of us, choosing to be God with us, for the home of God is among mortals. Every baptism makes manifest the hope of our eternal future with God, for the new creation is not far off someday up in heaven or beyond the sea. It is among us. God's new creation is made manifest in every one of us who today will renew our baptismal vows and recommit to living in God's new creation. 
because the world needs that promise made manifest, y'all. The world needs to see the promises of God. We can point them to him. We can tell his story. We can show forth his love when we remember who we are. Amen. The candidates for holy baptism will now be presented. Okay. No, go back. Thank you. All right, Gerhard and Lachlan, do you desire to be baptized? All right, and then this one's to all the sponsors. Will you be responsible for seeing that the child you present is nurtured in the faith and life of the Christian community? Will you, by your prayers and witness, help this child to grow into the full stature of Christ? All right, and this one is to all of the candidates who can speak for themselves and for all the sponsors. Do you renounce Satan and all the spiritual forces of wickedness that rebel against God? Do you renounce the evil powers of this world which corrupt and destroy the creatures of God? Do you renounce all sinful desires that draw you from the love of God? Do you turn to Jesus Christ and accept him as your savior? Do you put your whole trust in his grace and love? Do you promise to obey him as your Lord? All right, this one's for the whole congregation. So everybody rise in body or in spirit and answer this question. Will you who witness these vows do all in your power to support these persons in their life in Christ? Mm -hmm. All right. Let us now pray for those persons who are coming to receive this sacrament of new birth. Deliver them, O Lord, from the way of sin and death. Lord, hear our prayer. Open their hearts to your grace and truth. Lord, hear our prayer. Fill them with your holy and life-giving spirit. Lord, hear our prayer. Teach them to love others in the power of the spirit. Lord, hear our prayer. Send them into the world in witness to your love. Lord, hear our prayer. Bring them to the fullness of your peace and glory. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant, O Lord, that all who are baptized into the death of Jesus Christ, your son, may live in the power of his resurrection and look for him to come again in glory, who lives and reigns with you now and forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. We thank you, Almighty God, for the gift of water. Over water, the Holy Spirit moved in the beginning of creation. 
Through water you led the children of Israel out of their bondage in Egypt into the land of promise. In water your son Jesus received the baptism of John and was anointed by the Holy Spirit as the Messiah, the Christ, to lead us through his death and resurrection from the bondage of sin into everlasting life. We thank you, Father, for the water of baptism. In it, we are buried with Christ in his death. By it, we share in his resurrection. Through it, we are reborn by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, in joyful obedience to your Son, we bring into his fellowship those who come to him in faith, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now sanctify this water, we pray you, by the power of the Holy Spirit, that those who here are cleansed from sin and born again may continue forever in the risen life of Jesus Christ, our Savior. To him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit be all honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. Let us join with those who are committing themselves to Christ and renew our own baptismal covenant. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven. heaven. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Will you continue in the apostles' teaching and fellowship, in the breaking of bread, and in the prayers? Will you persevere in resisting evil, and whenever you fall into sin, repent and return to the Lord? Will you proclaim by word and example the good news of God in Christ? Will you seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving your neighbor as yourself? Will you strive for justice and peace among all people and respect the dignity of every human being? Will you strive to safeguard the integrity of God's creation and respect, sustain, and renew the life of the earth? All right, everybody can sit down except for Edie's family who's going to come forward. I'm going to have you scoot back just a little bit. No, backward. That way. Thank you. Look at you, sweetie. Good job. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Name this child. Edie, you're going to lean forward just like we practiced, okay? I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, my goodness. That was so good. All right, Edie, I sign you with the cross and I mark you as Christ's own forever. Amen. Receive the light of Christ and may it ever remind you that you have passed from darkness into light. Back to God, parent. All right, you're done, sweetie. Do you need a towel to wipe your hand? Just, you got some. There you go. You can take that with you. That's okay. I got more. Oh. All right, Lachlan, it's your turn. Lachlan, you got to come up here. All right. Name this child. Lachla Adara, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. 
I sign you with the cross and I mark you as Christ's own forever. Receive the light of Christ to show that you have passed from darkness into light. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> All right. Y'all come on up. All right. Cedric, you going first? Come on up. Good job. What's your name? Oh, okay. Okay. Cedric? I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I sign you with the cross, and I mark you as Christ's own forever. Receive the light of Christ as a sign that you have passed from darkness into light. Yeah, yeah, Grandma can hold that. All right, Felix, it's your turn. Name this child. Felix James, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sign you with the cross and I mark you as Christ's own forever. Receive the light of Christ. As a sign that you pass from darkness into light. Uncle Stefan's going to hold it for you, okay? No, I don't need to see that. I need you to back up so I can hold the baby. Thank you. Have a baby. Ooh. Look at you, baby, baby. Yeah, I know. You ready? Okay. Name this child. Calvin Reese. I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son. Son, <laughs> and of the Holy Spirit. Oh, yeah, that's very wet. That's a lot of water. Oh, it's okay, baby. Oh. Calvin, I sign you with the cross, and I mark you as Christ's own forever and ever and ever. Calvin, you too receive the light of Christ as a sign that you have passed from darkness into light. Well, there you go, Auntie Danielle. We'll hold it for you. All right. All right. Now we'll have the Lutherots and the Addos come on up. Oh, boy. All right, you're asleep again, just like yesterday. Let's see if you wake up. All right, name this child. Okay. Gerhard Giovanni Tros, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, that was good. Yeah. We kept that one your eyes. Sign you with the cross and I mark you as Christ's own forever and ever. <gasps> yeah. Receive the light of Christ as a sign that you have passed from darkness into light. All right. Yay! All right. Name this person. All right, Gerhardt, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sign you with the cross and I mark you as Christ's own forever. 
<laughs> receive the light of Christ as a sign that you have passed from darkness into light and the congregation can respond for all of the candidates. Let your light so shine before others that they may see your good works and glorify your father in heaven. All right, let us pray for all of these who have received the sacrament of baptism. They're all grouped together over here and let's pray for them. Heavenly Father, we thank you that by water and the Holy Spirit, you have bestowed upon these, your servants, the forgiveness of sins and have raised them to the new life of grace. Sustain them, O Lord, in your Holy Spirit. Give them an inquiring and discerning heart, the courage to will and to persevere, a spirit to know and to love you, and the gift of joy and wonder in all your works. Amen. Let us welcome them with words and then we'll applaud. Let us welcome the newly baptized. We receive you into the household of God. Confess the faith of Christ crucified, proclaim his resurrection, and share with us in his eternal priesthood. Yay! The heavens are rejoicing! The peace of the Lord be always with you. Please offer to one another a sign of peace. You could shake hands, you can make a peace sign, whatever you feel comfortable with. Thank you. Can you put that on the altar for me? Will you put that on the altar for me? Thank you. Thank you, Zara. Beautifully done. Good morning and welcome again, everyone who is worshiping God with us today. We are so thrilled that you're here. If you are new or visiting, please introduce yourself to us. If you're visiting over the internet, you can introduce yourself through the chat uh, to all of your fellow online worshipers. And if you're here in person, please join us after the service for coffee hour. Are there any birthdays or anniversaries to be blessed today? Anybody got a birthday or an anniversary coming up this week? Yes. Oh, Oliver's birthday. Oh, and what's your name? Sia. Okay, wonderful. Yes, Mark? Tuesday, your birthday's on Tuesday. Excellent. Any others? Yes. Oh, it's your birthday tomorrow, and you got baptized today. Well, happy birthday. Yay! <laughs> you know, when we baptized my nephew, uh, we talked to him about how you're born again, and he said, is my birthday going to change? So uh, anyway, you are not going to have your birthday change, or maybe just by one day. All righty. We will bless all of the birthdays and anniversaries after the announcements. Congratulations to all of the newly baptized. We're so thrilled to receive you into the household of God. Please do stay after church. We'll take a photo, a big group photo all together, and then we'll also have cake. So please do stay for that. Our Epiphany Tide celebrations continue this evening with a potluck. Natalie invites families of all ages, shapes, and sizes to join her for supper here at the church tonight from 5 to 7 p.m. Epiphany is a season for house blessings. If you would like for me to come and bless your house in the season, please let me know. Intentionally inviting Christ to be present in your home can be a wonderful way to bless a new house if you've recently moved or inaugurate a new year if you've been there a while. Let me know if you'd like to learn more about this tradition. Next week, our celebrations continue with a green growing Sunday. This is our monthly child focused service where the kids go up front. So I invite you to come and see. But if you're not feeling particularly celebratory this January, 
Our group called Clio will meet on Blue Monday, what has been called the saddest day of the year. We'll meet here in the church. This is our monthly peer support group for people who are grieving any kind of loss. We meet 2 p.m. on third Mondays, January 15th. We will be here in this room. If you are forgetting who you are and whose you are in the hustle and bustle of the world, you are invited to grow in your spiritual leadership by participating in the Revive Discipleship Program this spring. This program will have both an in-person and an online option and is designed to help you grow in prayer and communication with God, engagement with scripture, and confidence in ministry. The program begins this week, so register at the diocesan website, edmonton.anglican.ca, as soon as you can. Please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions, if you're like, I'm interested, I want all those things, but what in the heck am I getting myself into? I would love to talk with you about it. Finally, I invite you to save the date for the annual general meeting of this parish. This year, it will be held on Sunday, February Fourth. More details coming soon. All right, let's bless all of these wonderful birthdays. Oh God, our times are in your hand. Look with favor, we pray, on your servants as they begin another year. Grant that they may grow in wisdom and grace and teach them to trust in your goodness all the days of their lives through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us, an offering and sacrifice to God. Please, I invite you now to join in singing our offertory hymn, which is in your blue hymnal number 162, Sing of God Made Manifest.
Let us pray. God of life and freedom, we celebrate the revelation of Jesus as the Christ who makes all creation new. Accept all we offer you this day and make us new in him, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Blessed are you, gracious God, creator of heaven and earth. By water and the Holy Spirit, you have made us a holy people in Jesus Christ our Lord. You renew that mystery in bread and wine and nourish us. You show forth your glory in all the world. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the holy people who have served you in every age, we raise our voices to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy Lord, God of power and might. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might. Heaven and earth are full, full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. We give thanks to you, Lord our God, for the goodness and love you have made known to us in creation, in calling Israel to be your people, in your word spoken through the prophets, and above all in the word made flesh, Jesus, your son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the savior and redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, a death he freely accepted, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, Father, according to his command, we remember his death, we proclaim his resurrection, we await his coming in glory, and we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. Unite us to your son in his sacrifice, that we made acceptable in him may be sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, reconcile all things in Christ and make them new, and bring us to that city of light where you dwell with all your sons and daughters, 
through Jesus Christ our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church, and the author of our salvation, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. As our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Creator of all, you gave us golden fields of wheat, whose many grains we have gathered and made into this one bread. So may your church be gathered from the ends of the earth into your kingdom. The gifts of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Um... Mm -hmm. 
I invite you now to rise in body or spirit as we offer our prayer of thanksgiving after receiving Holy Communion. Let us pray. Gracious God, lover of all, by this sacrament you make us one family in Christ your Son, one in the sharing of his body and blood, one in the communion of his spirit. Help us to grow in love for one another and come to the full maturity of the body of Christ. We ask this in his name. Amen. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we could ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, forever and ever. Amen. May the God who shakes heaven and earth, whom death could not contain, who lives to disturb and heal us, bless you with power to go forth and proclaim his gospel. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Please join in singing our closing hymn, now one of my favorites in the blue hymnal number 354 come now fount of every blessing <clears throat> Every
Before we go, I just want to say thank you so much to James stepping in last minute for Talisa, who is very sick. Please do keep her in your prayers and send her a note letting her know you're thinking of her. And now go forth in the name of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thank you for coming. You guys did a really good job. But you did a really good job. Very quickly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.